Hello everyone, welcome to Atupedia World Videos. In today's lecture, we will discuss some question and answers related to our topic metals and non-metals. First, we will discuss question number one. And question number one says, how does the activity series of metals helps in predicting the relative reactivities of various metals? So this question is related to the activity series of metals. What happens in activity series? In activity series of metals, the most reactive metal occurs at the top and the least reactive metal occurs at the bottom. So the reactivity of metal decreases on moving from top to bottom in the activity series. A metal is more reactive than all other metals which are placed below it and less reactive than all the metals which are placed above it in the activity series. So in this way activity series helps in predicting the relationship relative reactivities of various metals. Now coming to question number two. We have to give reasons. First, platinum, gold and silver are used to make jewelry. Why these metals are used to make jewelry? Silver gold and platinum occurs towards the bottom of the activity series and they are less reactive metals. They do not react with oxygen even at high temperatures. They have shining surface hence they are used to make jewelry. The second question is aluminium is a highly reactive metal yet it is used to make utensils for cooking. We all know that aluminium is a highly reactive metal. When it is exposed to air a thin protective layer of aluminium oxide is formed on the surface of aluminium. Although there occurs initial damage to aluminium due to the formation of aluminium oxide so it is advantageous in the long run since a thin layer of aluminium oxide protects the aluminium underneath from further damage. Hence aluminium is used to make utensils for cooking. The third question is carbonate and sulfide ore are usually converted into oxides during the process of extraction. It is always easier to extract a metal from, it, from its oxide ore in comparison to its carbonate and sulfide ore. Why it is easier? Because the carbonate and sulfide ores do not undergo reduction easily, while the metal oxides can be reduced to the corresponding metal easily by using sim suitable reducing agents such as carbon, carbon monoxide etc. Now coming to the next question that is question number three. Give reasons why copper is used to make hot water tanks and not steel. This is because copper does not react with cold or hot water whereas iron reacts with steam to form iron oxide and hydrogen gas. Although iron does not react with hot water it may react with atmospheric oxygen and dissolved oxygen in the presence of water to form rust and the chemical formula of rust is Fe2O3 dot XH2O. Hence steel 
is not used to make hot water tanks. Now coming to the next question. Question number 4. Question number 4 says what happens when magnesium reacts with boiling water? Obviously magnesium oxide will be formed. When magnesium reacts with boiling water to form magnesium oxide and hydrogen gas and the chemical reaction which occurs will be like this magnesium which is in solid form reacts with boiling water then magnesium oxide which is white in color along with hydrogen gas will be formed. So this is a chemical reaction when magnesium reacts with boiling water. Now coming to the next question. Metallic oxides of zinc, magnesium and copper were heated separately with zinc, magnesium and copper. In which case you will find displacement reaction taking place. What happens in displacement reaction? Or what is a displacement reaction? In displacement reaction a more reactive metal displaces a less reactive metal from its solve. So the reaction occurs will be like this. Zinc oxide when reacts with magnesium, magnesium oxide will be formed along with zinc. Because magnesium is more reactive than zinc. Similarly, copper oxide when reacts with zinc, zinc oxide along with copper will be formed. And when copper oxide reacts with magnesium, magnesium oxide along with copper will be formed. So it is clear by seeing these chemical reactions that a more reactive metal will displace a less reactive metal from its salt. Thank you for watching Adupedia World Videos.